Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. You are welcome once again to Jannah TV where we react to certain amazing and exclusive interviews. Today we are bringing you a very very educative and a hottest debate ever. That is a tension between Muslims and free speech. So without not just wasting time, let's dive into the video and see how Taji Mustafa debated those who are advocating for this right. Let's watch the video. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Dispatches debate. We're exploring tensions between Muslims and free speech. Our next guest is Taji Mustafa. He is a London-based representative of the Islamic group Hizbut Tahrir. I have no problem with debates, with dialogue, with engaging with people. The point I'm making is that people are waiting to get offended by those kinds of issues. Will you be offended if I insult your mom? Of course you'd be. As a reasonable, rational human being, I'd expect you to have things which upset you. And any of us here, does that give me the right to insult your mom gratuitously? No. Of course not. I'm a no. decent person. So when you do say things, they do cause offense. Why in this climate, war and terror, demonization of Muslims across Europe, it's highly irresponsible to come with such quotes. And surely he of all people should know better. Muslim leaders, Islamic organizations, including yours, are not exactly known for their progressive views about gays, <laughs> women, Jews, and so on. Isn't the spectacle of you accusing the Pope of backward views a bit like Donald Trump accusing Bill Gates of having too much money? That's a ridiculous contrast. <laughs> if I may say so, that's a ridiculous contrast. The reality is what? People have a right, when they are offended, to say so. Don't you ever get offended? Do you expect 20 million? Absolutely. How do you expect and I would say so. But, but the, the point is that uh, I, ex I also uh, accept the right of anybody to offend me. What you're demanding, you're demanding the freedom to insult. <laughs> Let's be very, very clear. In this debate, which is not about freedom of speech, you're demanding the freedom to insult. In no I'm civilized happy, society. I am happy for people to insult me. In no I think civilized people should society. Have, I think people should have the right to no, insult me. That is the most uncivilized thing. In no civilized society should people accept the right to insult others. Jews should not be insulted. Christians should not be insulted. And me as a Muslim or anybody else should not have to live in a society where my beliefs are insulted. Will that lead to harmony? Will that not lead to tensions? So it's very irrational, illogical and nonsensical to say it's okay to go around insulting one another. Taji Mustafa, thank you very much. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing. Just listening to wisdom. You just saw how, how the man was, I mean, suffering. The, the truth is one. Just because of freedom of speech doesn't mean that there's a right to insult. But the man just said that he's happy when he's insulted. This is a lie. No one is happy when he's insulted. No one. But just because we don't want to accept reality, that's why... People just made strange claims such, such as this. Now he's happy when he's insulted. The reason why I, I, I made this video is when I put, I made the short, the shorter clip of this video as a, as a short. And I've seen many comments that where, where will I find the full video? Where will I find the full video? Where will I find the full video? That's why I decided to make this video. So if you don't mind, and you subscribe to our channel and give us a like until we meet again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.